Former track and cross country coach who spent time at multiple local districts over the past decade has been arrested on child pornography charges. 31 year old Martin Nicholson coached at Jordan Elbridge at West Hill and at Bishop Ludden. Let's get right to News Channel 9's Rob Hackford. He was at a news conference just about an hour ago. Rob, what else are you learning there? Well, Rod and Christie, the Onondaga County District Attorney says all parents involved in the investigation up to this point have been notified, but that doesn't mean that there aren't more victims. So far, the DA says the victims at the time were all underage females, the oldest in her 20s now. The DA says 31-year-old Martin Nicholson was a track and cross-country coach at several Central New York high schools, as you mentioned, over the past decade. Jordan Elbridge, West Hill, and Bishop London, but he is no longer active in those districts. The superintendents of those districts have been notified but the DA says parents will also be receiving an email. For anyone who believes they are a victim or were a victim, they can call the state police hotline. That number is 315-366-6000. Nicholson is charged with one count of using a child in a sexual performance, a felony that carries a maximum sentence of 15 years. Dave Fitzpatrick says that charge stems from Nicholson coercing a child into performing a sexual act. Several other charges, two counts of possessing child porn, one count each of promoting the use of a child's sexual performance, unlawful surveillance and a criminal sex act. Please understand there's a lot I can't tell you now because this is a ongoing investigation but the reason the major and I wanted to bring it to your attention now is we don't want to have a repeat of uh, uh, past history where uh, the information gets out before the parents are notified and then we have a panic uh, at a particular school as to whether or not their children are involved. So we're trying to do this as openly as we can while protecting Mr. Nicholson's rights and the integrity of the case, and most importantly, the identity of our victims. Now, the Onondaga County District Attorney says additional federal charges may also be filed for Nicholson's involvement in a much larger group. Again, this investigation is still very new and ongoing. In Syracuse, Rob Hackford, News Channel 9.